Aquaba made up for today. What's on the menu is tuna and mackerel stew, which I served with some rice and boiled ripe plantains. I'm going to take you through how I did this. It was simple but yet delicious. Thank you for joining me today. Take a seat and let's go through the ingredients. So I use After Village Kitchen 7 and 10 spice blends and natural spices, some plum tomatoes, tomatoes on the vine which I had frozen and it was defrosting, some home grilled mackerel and home grilled tuna, some scotch bonnet, spring onion, garlic, ginger, onion and some zomi palm oil, some anchovies and some homemade tolo beef. The, fu the full list of the ingredients is in the description box. Find a link there to take you straight to where it is. So to start off, I started with my tomatoes. So I put everything in my blender, whisked it up, and then I started to simmer it. This is my top, top kitchen hack that gives me some really flavorful um, taste and rich red color for our tomato stew. So I got that on the hob and whilst I was simmering down, I went ahead to get my trial plus one mix together. My trial plus one mix is, you know, in Ghana, we use ginger, onion, garlic and pepper in our cooking. So it's always forms the basis of our Ghanaian stews or soups. I blended the mix with just a little bit of water and then I also checked on my tomatoes which was simmering down nicely. So while this was going on I decided to cook my rice which I perfumed with some lime leaf. This is lime leaf not bay leaf. Lime leaf and lemongrass. The aroma and the flavor it gives to this rice is just mm, 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 you need to try it so a bit of that and some salt just for taste and water so i love my rice to be fluffy nice and soft and fluffy and yet still single grained and so i added enough water to cook this no oil in this no onions it's just water and flavored with the lemongrass and the lime leaf after about 20 minutes the tomatoes had simmered down into a lovely paste this is what i need and i was ready to start the stew so got my pot on heated it up and then added in the palm oil next to go in was the tolo beef and then the anchovies including the oil i'm using anchovies in oil I fried this for about a minute and then added in the sliced onions. So I let this cook for about a minute or two just to get it to soften up and to start browning a bit. And whilst this was going on, I decided to work on the fish. So the tuna and the mackerel. So there's the home grilled mackerel recipe on the channel do have a look how, how I made this and I just love to break my mackerel up because I love to remove the bones it just makes eating it a little bit easier all done it was time to check on my onions and oh lovely it had fried up nicely this is exactly how I want it to be and it was ready for my trial mix to go in there so my onion ginger garlic and pepper mix went in there and I let that also fry for about a minute or two just for it to you know all the most of the water to um, simmer out of it and for it to kind of start stewing and then I added in the flavors I added in the 10 spice blend and the 7 spice blend these are natural spices 
from West Africa which our mamas and our grandmas used in cooking every day. There's no preservative, there are no sugars, very low salt so it's really good for you. So just look how lovely our sauce is. That is how we want our sauce to be. So the next thing was to put in the simmered tomatoes. And the reason why I love simmering my tomatoes before cook cooking is, you know, you don't get that splatter everywhere and the flavors just improves and the color is just so rich in red color. So a little bit of water in there just to loosen it up a bit so that I can really fry nicely and for all the flavors to infuse. So I covered it for that marriage to happen and ooh, just look at this. We are almost there, almost there. It's looking like most of the water had simmered out and at this point i had a taste to check on the salt and then i corrected the seasoning with a bit of salt you need to be if you're using the tulu beef you need to be a bit careful and also because i was using the tuna which i had brined in in salty water before grilling so i had to be mindful of that so at this point i also felt that i needed a bit more palm oil so i added that extra bit of palm oil it's up to you it's personal preference and i added in some dried shrimps for more aromatics i forgot to show that at the beginning but yes i added in this to give me that smoky earthy flavors to add to this stew so to make some plantain my favorite um combo with mackerel stew is some plantain bold plantain and i just had to have that so yes i went ahead to cook some semi-ripe plantain these were quite firm and that's how i like it so i use this but it's up to, it's also up to your preference however you like it soft or hard or green plantains will do just fine so i added this in water and added some salt and then i boiled it while that was on fire i checked on my stew it was just ready to add in the macro which is almost the last stage we are almost done with our stew so i added in all the macro a bit at a time stirring it in a little at a time and making sure everything was nicely mixed also removing any extra bones that i found in there and then i covered it and allowed it to simmer for the marriage to happen i checked on the stew after about three minutes and it was mm -mm -mm, so good so i added in some extra scotch bonnets also squeezing some of it breaking some of the scotch bonnet to release its flavors into the stew and then i added in my sliced spring onions to give that extra flavor and a touch of color covered it for another couple of minutes just to let the flavors you know infuse and like i say marry so now i checked on my plantains they were going quite well not ready yet i checked on my rice and the rice was ready look how fluffy it was and the aroma was so good my house was smelling so lovely with this lemony flavors and it was just ready for this perfect mackerel and tuna stew just look at this bubbling away and you can tell look how smoky it is you can tell <laughs> or you can smell if you can smell through your tv or your <laughs> whatever you're viewing this with it was super tasty super flavorful simple flavors and it was just so good it was ready for me to serve up and yeah we're going to have this with our rice and with plantain so yeah those who wanted rice went for rice those who wanted plantain went for plantain and you can guess what i went for 
but this can be served this stew can be served with so many things it can be served with boiled yams boiled potatoes some kenke yes it will go really well with kenke even couscous yes so the uses of this stew is endless so be adventurous and make your own combination and when you do make those combinations please share your photos with me and let me know how you love this stew okay so yes here we are our mackerel and tuna stew is ready and being served okay you could make this only mackerel a mackerel stew omit the tuna or you can also just make it as a tuna and only tuna stew it also works perfectly but today i wanted to go for the combination set as we have a mackerel and tuna stew so made off of don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to share with your friends call them come on call them and let's cook let's cook some Ghanaian meals and you know take some inspiration from here for your weekday meals i hope it is really helping and i hope the tips that i'm sharing is also really being useful so thank you for joining me today don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already thank you for all my lovely subscribers i see them increasing all the time and don't forget to click on that notification button because there's another video coming your way very soon see you bye bye Thank you.